Hello and welcome to another in this series of tutorials for Excel beginners. Um, it's been some time since the uh, the last tutorial, but I thought I'd put this one together just to um, fill in a few gaps that I uh, meant to explain along the way but uh, but missed. One of the things is um, a fairly obvious one really, how to update your calculations as you add data to your spreadsheets. Um, in the example that I put together here, obviously what I have at the bottom of the uh, the sheet is this summary box that works out the total average highest and lowest values and actually does uh, a count of the items in the list. And Obviously as I add items to the list I'd like the, uh, the calculations here to update. <clears throat> now at the moment that's not working properly and uh, I'll just show you an example of that. If I uh, select any one of these calculations here, I'll just go for the uh, the total value in the rentals column and double click. What happens is we get a a blue box that goes around the values in the rentals column to indicate which values are being included in the calculation. So the formula or calculation we have is equals sum and then between brackets or parentheses if you prefer C3 to C8 so it's actually adding up values from the number 5 here for 2001 down to the number 11 for Wizard of Oz but it's not including the value for rear window the one I added on uh, in an earlier video <clears throat> now there is a reason for that which I'll come to in a second but I just want to explain how to update your calculations manually um, in this example, all I would need to do here is simply put my mouse point at the bottom right of that boundary box and we get a little black cross up here and simply click and drag down so that the box now includes the, uh, the number 8 value. I can then update that calculation by clicking the tick or pressing enter if you prefer. Um, same applies to this for this total value here. If I double click again, we can see it's not including the, the bottom value. Again, I can just put the mouse pointer over the bottom right of the box there, drag down, click on the tick again, and that updates the value. <coughs> the same applies right across these calculations. If I double click on the average, you'll see it's not including the, the bottom value. Double click the max, not including the bottom value, and so on, and so on. So what we're going to do is update all these calculations and I can do that fairly quickly um, if I just double click on average excuse me, let's press escape there, cancel that, double click average and then we get the boundary box, update that one double click the max, update that, double click the min whoops, have another go, update that and finally just update that double click on the count and update that. Now <coughs> these uh, three values here, average, maximum, minimum, these updated calculations need to come across to these two columns so I can just simply highlight the three cells there and put my mouse point to the bottom right of the selection and drag across the two columns and that then updates all these calculations as well. And I can highlight that or illustrate that if I double click the minimum value for column D which is the income, uh, we'll see that the the calculation is now covering all the values as it should do. Okay, so that, that is an example where I had to manually update the calculation. Um, the reason for that, oddly enough, is that um, I excluded a calculation from this cell here. And I'm going to come to that in a second, but before I do that, I want to show you something in the Tools and Options dialog box. So if you'd like to click on Tools, uh, come to Options, there's a couple of things here that I want to illustrate for you that might be useful. Um, in the Calculation tab, make sure that you have Automatic updated or set uh, highlighted there. If it's not, then you will have to manually update all your calculations. Okay. Um, there's some reasons why you might want to have them updated manually, but 99 times out of 100 cases you would want automatic updating and that's what you want to have highlighted there. Okay. Um, there aren't many other things to worry about in these other options here, um, except in the Edit tab. 
where you have extend list formats and formulas make sure there's a little tick in that box as well and that will be relevant in a second when I show you the uh, the example I'm about to um, so make sure the uh, extend list formats has a tick and make sure in the calculation tab your automatic calculation is also checked as well and click OK what I'm going to do now is add on a row to this column, adding a row of data. I'd like um, a blank row between the data and the actual summary box, so I will insert a row so everything gets shifted down. So right click, insert, select entire row on the dialog, click OK. And we'll just pop another movie in there, Jaws. Let's say it's one pounds, oops, slight uh, error there. Say one pounds seventy five for the rental price, come across the rentals. Put in there 12. Now, you may notice something there. <clears throat> a number of those calculations updated automatically, um, but not all of them. If I go to my total box now and double click the 75, you will see that it's now correctly updated with a new value. Press escape to cancel the edit there. Same on this one here. Um, and if I go to the total box here, which is sort of the average box, beg your pardon, and double click, you'll see that hasn't updated automatically. Now the reason for that is that I don't have a calculation above it. So it thinks this, these calculations here, these average, max and minimum, are now no longer part of this table. So when I add a row, it doesn't update automatically. I can illustrate that. Um, or a working version of that. If I just undo the whole process there, okay, if we just undo my typo as well. So I'll leave the uh, the title jaws in there, okay. What I'm going to do here is add in the total, and I can do that quickly by just selecting that 64 and dragging left to put a total value into here as well. Okay, so what should happen now is when I put the rental price in for jaws and tab across, that updates as well, okay. And I can put the rentals in, let's say 10, tab across, and you see the whole table now updates automatically. So there you have all the calculations updated, um, and that's simply how you update your calculations. So um, every time I add on a value now, or a movie, should I say, um, Star Wars, for instance, so that's two bucks, two pounds fifty. There we go, everything updates absolutely fine. So I'm fairly happy now that uh, my calculations will update as I add new values. Um, there are problems that, that can crop up anyway, it doesn't mean everything's going to update on your spreadsheet. Um, it's just to be aware that you know how to update a calculation if it doesn't seem to be working, and it's simply that you click on the formula or double click and it will highlight the values that have been included in that calculation. You can take the appropriate action to correct it if you need to. Um, that concludes that little tutorial. Hope that was useful and uh, see you next time.